Last episode, we spent no less than 40 clue coins to unlock the biggest city that we've unlocked yet, Falador. This time, we're venturing a little bit deeper into our endgame goal and complete easy clue stash units. While doing that, we also end up juggling the most clues we've ever juggled. Also, have you subscribed to the channel, by the way? I will only subscribe if Tedious comes walking past yelling the collection log. What are the chances of that happening? The collection log. Oh. Alright, I'll subscribe. Welcome to the Clue Chunk UIM, an account where I divided my entire map in chunks and randomized every single chunk with a value from 10 to 50. By doing clue scrolls, I gain clue coins which I can use to buy these chunks. I'm doing all of this on an account that cannot use a bank. Enjoy the video. We are back here in Puro Puro. We're going to be highlighting the eclectic implings, and it's time to video game. 107 oak planks. Let's do it. Ah, uh, now I feel at home, dude. Opening eclectics. There's the first couple of oak planks. Also, a very easy way to get mithril pickaxes here. A rune dagger. That's a sick elk. I should have kept my nature runes. Damn it, dude. I'm walking the earth for this essence impling. It better be worth it. Okay, that's worth. Hey, that was the last couple of planks we needed. 108 oak planks. I need to get one more easy clue, preferably, so I can give the easy clues that I got on the ground right here an attempt to. So as long as I have jars, I'll try that real quick. And then we're gonna do the construction grind. Easy clue? Yes, the squire, that is from Falador. Holy shit, let's go. There's the beginner completion. You know what I'll actually do? In order to not waste a Laurun, I'll just keep this beginner clue for now and uh, start training my construction. I gotta do, I gotta train my construction here anyway. And maybe by the time I'm done, I can just use my home teleport again. I don't think there's anything I can use my mini game teleports for. Here we go. One beginner clue, one easy clue. That is a special one. And the easy clue. No uniques either. However, we're now at 20 clue coins. 10 more to go. Oh, I got the coif back. Holy crap, I completely forgot. Yes, coif is important. We just need to steal plate skirt for the easy clue now. All right, so what we're going to be doing for construction is just the, the easiest way possible. Get piles to unnote our planks. Get in building mode. Build tool storage. Easy. This is going to be the most relaxed skilling grind I've had to do yet because it's the exact same as I would do it on the... An Iron Man account. 23 construction. This is going rapid. Sitting at a solid 46k XP per hour. There it is. 27 construction. That should be easy. Clue stash units. There we go. I need two more inventory slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Falador. Uh, I'm going to be making these gold bars into golden bracelets. Clear up this inventory slot, this inventory slot, and the water rune inventory slot. Uh, then we can go pick up planks and then make the stash units. Man, UIM is so much preparation. AFK XP on a UIM. Is there anything better? 28 crafting. Hey, by the way, we've got 100k cash stack for the very first time on this account. Mainly from the uh, alchemals from Eclectic Implings. All right, at least we can now make the golden necklace that we need for the Remington uh, thingy. So we have a golden ring and a golden necklace now. Now we just have to get the bronze spear from the goblins over here and we can make that stash unit. There are five easy clue stash units that I can build. Only one that I can fill up though, which is the Remington one with the bronze spear, the golden necklace and the golden ring. However, as I just said, I will be filling all of them or I'll be making all of them just for the construction XP and for convenience purposes. Stash unit that I cannot fill up number two. Number three, stash unit number four, and the final stash unit that we can actually fill up in Remington. Boom. There we go. Now we're just lacking 10 more clue coins for the next unlock. Edgeville and the looting bag. Hard focus on easy clues now, by the way. Easy clues are the best points, especially now that the milestone rewards are not there anymore especially with the 11 steps that we've unlocked in Falador. Boom, another medium clue in the ranging guild. Man, 14 medium clues from Eclectics. Not a single step that I've been able to do so far. I've not calculated yet how many steps I could do from uh, medium clues, but I'm assuming it's not many. It's 10 in 153. Hey, there's 30 crafting for, well, not really anything. You know what, screw these three golden bars. How about that? Nah, never mind. I'll bring the gold bars. 
Oh, I'm still in the PvP world. <laughs> I never thought that would happen to me, to be honest. Hey, yo, we can complete a beginner clue. Um, but I still want this lost easy clue, actually. Oh my god, this is also completable. That means we got four beginner clues that are completable on the ground right now. Um, what do we do? I, <laughs> shit. Did we just keep going? Do I try for a three-step easy? Maybe that is the play. If this beginner clue is completable, man, I swear, I, <laughs> there's no way, right? Oh my god, are you god? Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh my god, this is a mess. I, all right, I'm gonna go complete the beginner clue because this is insane. Watch me get a back-to-back -back too. And it's a one step or two. Oh, another beginner. There is no shot. I get a back four back, right? No absolute shot. This is the back four back. Oh my god. What is going on, bro? And also completable, bro. I've just got a back five back beginner clue. The last five beginner clues I got were all completable. There's the second clue stacked. And completable again bro what do i do i'm actually gonna try these easy clues oh i'm gonna be so pissed at myself if this is not a three stepper i'm gonna be so 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 upset but i'm too impatient i've got clues to open man another beginner clue another completable beginner clue with that hello hairdresser first time i get your step done and that is three beginner glue caskets stacked up and still three beginner clues on the floor. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't build this stash unit, but the items are pretty easily easy to get. So that's nice. However, I would have loved to stash these items. It is what it is. It could be a two stepper, please. Oh no, back to back. Oh no, we need that three stepper now, guys. This could be absolute maximum pain. Oh, dude, that's Cosket! Holy crap, look at how many we've got stacked, dude! Now, all the excitement of the beginner clues aside, the most important clue that we have in our inventory right now is this easy clue. Two steps completed, <sighs> we need that three-stepper. If it's a four-stepper, then we've wasted three possible easy clue steps. Come on, no! Oh, <sighs> that hurts. Oh, F in the chat boys all right before we continue we have four beginner clue caskets to open here we go this is the most we've ever stacked that's one clue coin that's two clue coins that's three clue coins these are terrible and that's four clue coins all right Nothing unique, but we're inching closer to that edgeville chunk. Now that the milestone rewards are gone, beginner clues automatically become less valuable to me. I do want to focus on easy clues now. So what I actually said two episodes ago where I would lock myself out of beginner clues so I couldn't farm them is actually not that relevant anymore because easy clues are the thing that I'm supposed to farm right now, just naturally now that the milestone thing is gone. So that's nice. Hey, another casket. Absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> My fourth unique right here oh man this game sucks all i need from beginners is a steel plate skirt still for that sash unit but i forgot the build last episode too 25 clue coins there's the fourth step easy clue completed what easy clue number is this 17 easy clues completed so number 18 is right here two clue coins for the completion any unique is plus one what do we get Oh my god, that's awful. What the? Are we gonna get a two-step beginner clue or not? We are. Nice. We're keeping one beginner clue. That's always nice. And the good thing is, I'm gonna go to a free-to-play world and get some more law runes at the Yankus now. So let's open a clue. Boom. Oh no, that's a dupe. No, that's not an extra clue coin because it's a dupe. So out of the three beginner clue items we've got we got a dupe are you kidding me bro only one clue coin it's not a new collection log item boom there is the casket i kind of want to risk it and uh try and go for another two stepper on these two clues i'm gonna do it guys i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be cheeky i'm gonna try and unlock the chunk with just three clue scrolls we need two more clue coins so if we get a little lucky and we get either a back-to-back -back or a two-step clue casket we've got the next chunk I'd love to get a one-stepper. That's been a very long time, but it's only a 10% chance, I believe, from beginner clues. Here we go. Not a one-stepper. Is it a back-to-back? Uh-oh. Guys, I'm getting scared now. I, <laughs> I don't know if this was a good idea. Moment of truth to see if I majorly fucked up and have to get three new clues again, or if it was a genius play and we instantly unlock Edgeville. Here we go. Oh, it is the completion, dude. We've got Edgeville unlocked. Let's go. Holy crap. 
Guaranteed, even if we get a unique right now. All right, two clues to open and then Edgeville to discover. Let's see if we get anything. <gasps> we got the steel plate skirt back. Wait, but where's the coif? Didn't I have a coif? Did I sell the coif again? Am I goddamn kidding me? Oh no, what did I do with the coif? They're like, yeah, normal 50k a year job. I'm like, 50k a year? Hello? Mm, any completables? <gasps> oh, good. we can complete an easy clue, boys. We can complete an easy clue. I just unironically pogged in real life. There's no way I lost it again, right? All right, let's open the second one. Still played, buddy. At least we got the still play skirt. So now we do really have to focus on getting that coif. <sighs> anyway, let's get to our new chunk. First up, let's unlock it. And the beautiful thing is, it's not gonna cost me any law runes to get there. Zero clue coins. It's been a lot while since we've seen that. Let's go grab our looting bag and finally clean up some inventory space. I think this also unlocks a good amount of easy clue steps. About four, I think, in the chunk and in the Edgeville dungeon. You also have Vanica now, which is an easy clue step. But the entirety of the Edgeville dungeon, that's pretty hype. We also have unlocked Obor now. I have a range here and a furnace very, very, very close to a bank. And as I said, the best thing possible is that this doesn't cost me any law runes. It's way closer than Falador with the furnace, but that's absolutely fantastic. We are in the Edgeville dungeon and we are quickly going to grab ourselves our very first looting bag of the account. Let's hope no one comes to PK us. That's level 85. See engineer, please stay away. I might want to bring some food every time I do this just for safety. There it is. The most beautiful item on this account. The looting bag, baby. This quite literally changes everything. Steel plate legs. Yes, I understand how it works. Sapphire necklace. Probably don't need the ancient rope top. Definitely don't need these. I'm gonna drop my second pair of sandwich lady bottoms. I'm sorry, I know it hurts, but put my iron ore in there. Oh shit, I accidentally put bones in there. Oh, whatever. Put the black pickaxe in there for now. And I think we're good, guys. I think this is the inventory right now. Holy crap. Cool, man. So currently we've got <laughs> these bones, eight coins. Uh, the steel plate skirt, the sapphire necklace, the ancient rope top, the full sandwich lady, iron ore, and the black pickaxe in the looting bag. I think that is absolutely perfect. The inventory is looking clean as shit. Not that shit looks clean, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the hill giants. Ooh, Duncan Emerald, that's free XP. I can actually make that. 69 hit points. Like Verf would say. Nice. Hey, there's a giant key with a beginner clue. What a drop. Holy crap. It's not doable though. <laughs> that kind of sucks. All right, let's see if we can actually get an incredibly lucky beginner clue completion here. Either we get the back-to-back -back or it's a one-stepper. It is a back-to-back. -back. Holy shit, there's actually a chance for us to complete this e uh, beginner clue. So we're going to 1 HP, then we're going to Lumbridge. We're going to pickpocket until we fail, let the man kill us, and then pick up our stuff again. I don't think there's anything that will break. We just have to get our looting bag back. Oh yeah, by the way, I can complete this clue maybe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, what do we get? Another steel plate skirt. Okay, kill me, please. <laughs> R.I.P. Clue Chunk Boy. Now we have to rebag everything. This is the first time I'm actually playing like a UIM, guys. All right, let's rebag everything and get ready for Obor. Okay, we got a new looting bag. Let's make sure we put everything in there that we will not need for a bit. All right, that's it. Let's go to Puro Puro and get some food and then go to Obor. Here we go. I am prepared. A bunch of food, the most I've ever had in my inventory. Unfortunately, no Karam ones. I got 20 death runes and 10 or 11 blood runes that I just quickly got from the Ankus. So we have some waves and some blasts and we got a couple snares. I hope it's enough. Let's go. All we got to do is snare him and protect range. Snare him, trail, snare him. I gotcha, bitch. This guy hits over 30s, I believe. Okay, I've not, I've not splashed a snare yet, which is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, I think we comfortably got this, guys. Let's get that club or the rune longsword. And we got nature runes. I mean, I, I guess that's okay. What's the clue step? All right, let's check if we can do the clue step, mate. Screw it. I'll waste a law rune on it. Any two-step completions? Dude, another two-stepper. We are the luckiest goddamn UIMs there are ever. That's so nice. All right, let's open it. Unbelievable, but true. We got a clue casket from a doable Charlie step. I believe this could be close to beginner clue number 100. It's 98. Let's see what we get. Uh, I'll actually wear the wizard hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Good timing for that. Hey, I got a medium clue. Did I finally get a medium clue I can complete? 
You guys reckon it's worth it to go for medium clues? 10 out of 153, and you know what? That's a 1 in 15. I don't think that's too bad. Is that weird to say? A 1 in 15 for medium clues. I'm juggling the medium clue, fuck it. There is the second beginner clue of the day. Not a bad session so far. Do we get four clue coins or five? <laughs> That's a pretty funny clue, I'm not gonna lie. We'll check on the implings maybe real quick, now that we're almost 54. That's a lot of implings already, guys. Holy crap, look at that. 3,442 young implings, 1,400 gourmet, 433 eclectics already, 606 essence, somehow 250 earth, and a lot of miscatched, mis miscaught babies. <laughs> Wait, that sounds not right. Let's see what we can get here. Three juicy caskets. Two beginners. Five nature runes, that's not too bad. And a steel plate body and a wizard rope top. All right, not horrible. Over 100 beginner clues though. The easy clue. Yeah, baby, a collection log slot. That is three clue coins from that easy clue. Let's fucking go. Ooh, it's also a three-stepper. That means we have two more easy clues right here to keep juggling. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to the Minotaurs. But first, we are going to do something beautiful. Because we're going to get our 10 clue coins. No extra collection log slot. But we now have 11 clue coins. And that means that we can unlock another chunk. And without further ado, I'm just gonna unlock this chunk right next to Barbarian Village. That was 10 clue coins for that. And it's kind of annoying that I've got two clues here to discover it or to explore it but i mean it's not too far so let's jump into our clue i've already unlocked the music track by accident because i crossed this line unfortunately because i was killing a barbarian a long time ago so please forgive me over here there's a beginner and an easy clue step in between these so that's a guaranteed unlock there i just wonder if we can complete this medium clue in the next episode see y'all next week peace out